Hey guys, and it's time to talk about Android 10.0 Q. And the exciting news is we have new information from XDA. And this includes more confirmed features, interface changes that you're gonna see with the upcoming Android software. So make sure to check my previous video on the initial information because that is going to help you understand more. Alright, so first off, you're getting Face ID feature along with the Android Q. And this is basically an advanced facial recognition system which Android is going to support natively. However, as of now, this thing do requires hardware and I think in future with the final Q firmware, we might see a software face authentication like there's in the OnePlus 60 without any hardware. So that's going to be more impressive, I think. Next major news is that yes, Android Q do supports an advanced customization. It's just like Samsung's new user interface and you can change fonts. There are different icons for quick setting panel as well as for the applications. And these includes rounded rectangle, square, a combo of square and circle, and at last teardrop which looks really nice. Not only that, the best part is you can also change the theme and there are basically three overlays available as of now and that's black, green and purple. I'm impressed. Next up there's new information on privacy settings and that is applications won't be able to use background clipboard. And that is really secure. I mean applications won't be able to see what you are copying, what you are pasting, so that's nice. Next we have secure external storage, that means applications won't be able to use other files in external storage apart from its own files. Right now it's like application can use any data on your external storage including photos, videos, so that's not so secure. And Android Q is going to change that. And at last the Android Q will support downgrading applications meaning you will be able to downgrade the particular application to its previous version and I think this is one of the best move right now. So that's everything new in the Android Q latest leaks for more information you can read XDA and here's an exciting news for you all the Google I.O. 2019 is happening starting 7th May 2019. Yeah, it's months away right now but I'm gonna cover that also. So. That's all guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and peace out.